Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's see what I'm up to today, shall we? Well, Let's Resin sent me a new product of theirs that we're going to try out. It's in a rather large box. So I'm just going to try to get this all in the camera. Open the box up. And let's see. It is their three-tier serving tray mold set. And here's what it's supposed to look like. Now, I will tell you guys, um, this kit is $35 on Amazon. Or you can go to their, uh, their Let's Resin website and you can order it from there and get points. If you order it through their website, you, get, uh, you earn points and stuff. So, um... The thing about it is, it comes only comes with one frame to put it together. Now you'll you'll always have the molds, you know, but you'll only be able to make one of these. So I went on their website underneath this uh, video, and I put my concern in there about, you know, people may not want to purchase that because they're only getting one time use out of it. You know, they're not they're only getting one tray. Are y'all going to offer where the frame, they can purchase the frame separately, you know, after they do this and want to make another one, they can go on your website and purchase a frame since where well, they already have the molds. They don't have that option right now, but so many of us, I went down there through the comments, and I was not the only one that voiced that concern. There were plenty of other people voicing that concern. So the person that runs their page on, I believe it was, I was either on Instagram or Facebook. So whoever runs those pages for them is going to go back to the main person and let them know our concerns that maybe they can offer the frame separate to purchase as well so hopefully if you like this and you want to get it hopefully they will um they will have that option soon but i do also see the business side of it where you know them having to if this isn't going to be a popular mold and it's not going to sell well then they may not want to do that you know because then they would be losing in money so i do see both sides of it anywho Let's get on in this box. These molds are really big, you guys. I'm going to leave the frame in the box for now. Because here it is right here. That's what the frame looks like. And I have to put it together. But it shows you step by step how to do it. So let's see how big these molds are, how deep they are. I wish it had on the outside of here. Let's see if it does, if they put on the outside. Yep, they did. They have their Let's Resin logo right here. I don't know if you can see it. And then right here on the side, it says 9.8 fluid ounces is how much this mold holds. So it's not that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot more resin than that. So, okay, that's not that bad. Okay, so there's all three of the trays. Now, I chose, and I don't, I, I wish I would have, chose something different now but but I'm going to go ahead and and do it. I'm really nervous about this you guys. I don't know what possessed me to get the Let's Resin metallic alcohol inks to do these trays in. 
because I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but I do like how these look, you know, when other people have used them. <laughs> Not me, other people. But uh, I'll show you the colors in the box. I went through, I got the ones out that I want to use in the video. I picked purplish red, champagne gold, white silver, metallic, no, brown, I'm sorry, brown, and rose gold. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, but they also have in here red copper, copper gold, sparkly brass, bronze gold, olive gold. That's beautiful. I thought about putting that in it too. I don't know. I'll put it right there. We may use that too. Royal gold, coffee, black gold pearl white brass bronze sparkly copper black silver gray silver wine red reddish brown and rich gold and it looks like these are gonna you're really gonna have to shake these up see because that's been three hard shakes right there and it's still sitting at the bottom so yeah really gonna have to shake these up Okay, I have our one of our trays ready, and I have prepared a whopping 8 ounces of resin right here. That's a lot of resin. And I know the tray says 9.8 fluid ounces on the side, but here's what I'm thinking I want to do. I have my colors here that I chose, purplish red. Now, these are metallic inks, bronze gold, champagne gold, and white silver. So, when I pour the resin in the tray, I'm going to let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'll come back and we'll drop the inks in on top of the resin. I really hope I can manipulate these metallic inks in such a way that will turn out beautiful in these trays. But we're going to go ahead, I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol in the mold. And I'm going to go ahead and pour. But I don't want to fill the mold completely up. Because after I come back in 45 minutes to an hour and I drop our inks in, I want to let that cure for about two hours. And then I want to come back and drop in like a like a chocolate, like a dark chocolate color in the back. So that's the plan. Here we go. I really hope I can get these inks to work beautifully for me and we're going to have to be careful with this tray because of the way you know it is on the sides we're going to have to be sure that we don't get any bubbles down in there those little boogers like to hide everywhere they can <laughs> I'm just trying to pour real slow here, you guys, so I don't introduce any more bubbles into the mold and into my resin. And I'm going to go ahead and stop right there right quick. And I'm going to use my heat gun for what we have in here right now.
Okay, I'm going to spray a little more alcohol. And I'm going to keep pouring until we fill it up almost all the way, but not quite. We need to leave room for our chocolate brown that we're going to go in with in the back, in the background. I'm trying to pay close attention to that part so I don't feel the mold up. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Okay, we're back and I believe this is that the consistency that I wanted. I hope so. I'm going to go in with the purplish red. That fell off. Cap, I didn't want it to make a funny blob in there. I guess it'll be all right. Then I'm going to go in with the bronze gold, making sure I shake these up really good. Now let's go in with the white silver. And now the champagne gold. Now I'm going to go back through here again. Now I'm going to drop some of the sinker white.
And now I'm going to take my toothpick here and I'm going to be very careful not to touch the mold. I'm going to get right on the surface. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure how these are going to turn out, you guys. Um, I got really sick, and I was supposed to come in here at a certain time and drop the inks in these trays, and I didn't make it in the time I was supposed to make it because I was unable to get in here due to being sick. I guess I had some kind of 24-hour bug. I don't know, but... Um, we're going to go ahead and, because at this point, there's nothing I can do but move forward. So I'm going to use this. Uh, this is Jim Holtz alcohol ink, and it's pitch black. But I'm not going to use enough of it to make it pitch black. I'm going to use just enough to make it like a chocolate brown. And that's what we're going to put behind this. So I'm going to drop some in this cup. And I have some more over there some more resin for the other trays. I'm not sure how much I needed, so I just fixed. I like to start out small and then finish off like that. I don't like to have a lot of resin left over. I would rather make more resin than deal with leftover resin. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to put, this is my own mixture right here of glitter. And it's got a lot of um, bling to it, but it's not chunky glitter. It's real fine glitter. And I'm going to drop some down in this cup. And stir it up a bit. And that's the nice chocolate color that I'm looking for right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It may look black to you, but it's not. It is dark brown. Hopefully you'll be able to see it when we demold it from the, the mold. Okay, I'm going to let this sit and rest for about three to five minutes. And then we'll pour it. Okay, I think we're ready. We're going to need more than this for this tray, but I'm going to go ahead and use this first. Okay, I'm going to use the heat gun. I'm just opening up, trying to open up some of the pieces here where I can get a little bit of this black, I mean this dark brown ink, maybe down in there. Mm. 
I hope it don't make a bubble. I'm going to spray it with some alcohol. Okay, I thought it was best if I set you up in here because that way you could see everything. You can't see everything in my craft room with the camera position to set our frame up for our trays. So I brought you in here so that you could see the whole um, setup of it. Okay, so we're going to demold our trays first. I hope they turned out at least decent. <laughs> I don't know what we've got in here, guys, but I tried. <laughs> Man, they're in there snug as a bug in a rug. Okay. Oh, it's pretty. It's not too bad. I mean, I was hoping for some more inks on the side, but I couldn't get back in my craft room to drop the inks in there when I should have because I just couldn't stay out of the bathroom. You guys, I was sick. I'm sorry if that's too much TMI, but it's the truth. <laughs> Can you guys see that? How beautiful that is. And I don't know if you can see that that's not black it's chocolate brown I don't know if you can see that and I put a little bit of glitter in there so it can peek through you can see it there peeking through the inks okay let's open up our next tray let's see if I can get you a little bit closer Is that better? <laughs> like y'all can answer me. <laughs> Got something in my eye. And there's the second tray. It turned out beautiful. And the sides, the ink came up on the sides right here. You can see the glitter a little bit more in this tray. The chocolate brown in the back. I love these colors of these inks that I chose. They, they meshed very well together. And now here's our third tray. Everybody have a good Easter. I hope y'all didn't get too sick from all the eggs. <laughs> and here's our third tray. They turned out really pretty. I just wish the inks would have come up more on the sides. I mean, it's a little bit there, but not a whole lot. Okay, now there's something really awesome about this frame, you guys. I was reading in the instructions on how to put it together. And I'm going to show you when we get it put together. You just take these two pieces right here. And you just stick them in those holes right there. And then grab your other one and just slide it on right there. It's really easy to put together. And then you take this third one and you put it on here. And then there's your frame. Okay, we're going to put the trays on it.
Okay, now let me show you the really neat thing about this frame. Watch. You can turn it like that. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. Or if you don't like that way, there's another bracket in the box. And it has these uh, lips on the side, on each side. And you just take it in the back, back here, and you place it on. It's kind of tight to get it in there, but it goes right on there. Did you hear it snap? And then it locks it where it can't move. See, it can't move now. It can't go left and right, left and right like it was before. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what your thoughts are about purchasing this and only getting one frame with it. Would you not purchase it because of that reason? Or if Let's Resin put the option in to buy the frame separately, would that lead you to buy this? So let me know. Let's talk about it in the comment section below. For those of you who stayed through the entire video, I have no words to express how grateful I am to have you here. I truly appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for allowing me to be part of it. I hope to see you in the next video. God bless you. Goodbye, my friends.